Okay, so today is the day we install our kick-ass fuel battery system. So the only tip I've got for people is when they're installing their system, is the plus and the minus, run your wires first and then install that, because if you install that to the battery first, if you start the engine bay first, of course, they've got nothing because they've got the, the Anderson plug that you can plug in. Okay. So they do it like this, they can get it through little holes, but you don't want to put these in the plus and minus and then them touching each other and they'll shorten out. So, so I'm just going to run these wires down the back of the battery in between the firewall. I don't know if you can see down there. See right down there? Anyway, along there, down the chassis rails and up into the tub. But we're not going to film all that because that's going to probably take a while to get it all not done yeah. nice and tidy. But we'll come back when we wire it up. The Quick change of plans. I'm going to use this. Hang on. What are you using? I'm just using a bit of... um. I don't know what you call it. Oh, that stuff. Yeah. So I'm going to feed that through, take the wires up, and then pull it back. It's easier to do it that way. I can run it exactly where I want to run it, because there's so many different paths down there. I was just going to say, why are you doing that? Yeah. Are you making more work for yourself, John? No, it's actually easier doing this way than actually trying to figure out which way to go, because I can oh, just okay. underneath the car, thread that through, tape that up, and it's done. Uh -huh. Save taking all the bash plates off and shoot. Oh, right. right. Yep. Okay. okay. Notice you've got the pink fluffy blanket, so... It's not so uncomfortable. I'm getting old and that stuff is hard to lie on, eh? That exposed aggregate. That's a I'm going to put my crappy. shoes on too, but my feet are too soft to walk on it. Jeez, we hate having driveways with this crap in it. It's <laughs> getting old, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me do it. That's what I mean by using just a plastic, I don't know, whatever you call that. Um, so I can tape those wires to there and I can pull it up through the tub. because so I've actually snaked it through the tub and all the way down and it just makes the job a lot easier. So this is the other end, I'm in the back of the ute, and that's the wire for the dual batteries. And this is just the, the stuff I snake through, and I've got it taped up there as you can see. And it just pulls straight through, it just makes it so much easier. Do you want me to go close? Or? Yeah, if you want to go close. So that's it through there. Just makes it so much easier. So once I undo that tape there, the wires will be there. But that's the wire that goes all the way down to the battery. No, I haven't hooked the battery up yet. What are you doing? What am I doing? I've just finished tidying up the wire under here. Just putting all the um, um, zip ties on there. I'll show you. Got your specs on, I see. Oh, it's getting serious when I keep these <laughs> on because I just can't freaking see okay, these days. Okay, hang on a minute. So I don't know if you're able to see under here or not, but that's the wire there. That goes all the way up there behind the petrol tank and up into the tank, up into the tub. And it goes that way. I actually had to take that bash plate off and run it up into the motor. The tubing looks thick enough not to run this conduit on it. Um, so, I don't know if you can put in the comments if I should run some conduit over it as well, just to extra protect it or not. But I think I probably will do that anyway. But anyway, that's done for now. Okay, I'm just about to hook up the Anderson plug. And these are obviously um, not live because I haven't hooked them up to the battery yet. Because if they were to touch, they would short out. And this is the bag you can get here. So, I'll just have a look at what's in the bag. Take the Anderson plug. You get your Anderson plug, you get a spare fuse, and that's your um, wire that goes on the battery side over there so you can find an, um, an ignition. And these are just spare, spare little clips for those in case you need to shorten your wire a little bit. And in case you need to shorten it up here, cut it there and just rejoin it. But the length is just perfect for me. Alright, what are you up to now? Okay, so I'm just making an extension cord up for the dual battery system for the solar panels. So I'll put the solar panel on the roof. That can go in there and obviously that can go in the dual batteries. But I can't put the end on that yet because I've got to thread it through all the little gaps. And then when I get it through the gaps, I'll put the, um, I'll put, um, where is it? Yeah. I'll put that on there. But obviously that won't fit through anything, but yeah. Okay. So that's what I'm up to at the moment. Okay, so the battery box is in, all bolted to the floor. I've just got to do the wiring in the motor and I'm just going to put the solar panel on. But just always before you, you, you do anything, just double check your plus and your minuses. I triple check them all the time because you just want to get them right. And now for the solar panel. Okay, so solar panel time. This is a King's 160 watt, which we had on the last car. It works well. Um, but having said that, when we were at uh, kick ass the other day buying my kick ass stuff, the kick ass ones just look the good. So just yeah, the quality just looks so much better. 
So one day, hopefully, we'll have one the kick We'll change it over, but yeah, so far. But anyway, time to get this on. Solar panels now on. What are you doing now? Can't see it back again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hooking it up. So I've jumped the gun a bit. I've forgot to wait for you. Come over here. So I've hooked the positive up on the back terminal there already because I, I forgot to wait for you. And I'm going to hook the negative one. I'm going to hook the negative one just here. I'm not going to go on the other side of the battery. I'm just going to go there so I like that better. Mm -hmm. And I found for the blue wire, so you need a... um. An ignition source and I found I've, I've got a piggyback fuse I'll just pull that out and show you so I'm gonna put piggyback fuse I'm gonna stick that in there okay I've taken the fuse out and I've stuck that in there and just I'll go start the car up and we'll see if that's right because that light should light up if that's right if it starts up okay I'm gonna put my hand there oh hang on all right okay, you got it yep Perfect, so I'll just meet the wiring up and, and the front of the motor's done. So we just want to make sure we've got power in the back. And you can see that we've got power. Yep. Cool. Okay. So we're doing the solar panel um, extension lead for the kick-ass dual battery system and I'm just filling up one little Anderson plug things. You guys all know what I'm talking about. Just filling up the solder. Quickly grab your wires. Made it obviously it goes hard. Okay, let's start. Now I've just got to push the, the plug into the push these into the Anderson plug. Oh you're back again. Okay, so I'm just putting the wires into the Anderson plug. And you'll know that they're in properly when it when you hear a click. So it should click. Of course not gonna do it. There we go. So they're in now and you've given a bit of a pull and they're right. But also I'm gonna bring some heat shrink down and just heat shrink that so that's on there nicely and I'm gonna put some conduit all the way up. Okay, so that's one from the battery, and one from the solar panel goes in. Solar input goes right next to it. Right there. Huh, bug caught me okay, eye. So that's as easy as that. Now I'm just going to put the lid back together. So the solar's obviously reading the solar, so we just turn that on. Can I zoom into that one? Oh. Hang on. So it's picked up that it's a lithium, and it's picked up that the solar is is charging the battery. So how do we get this thing to work? Okay, so it's the charge lights come on, so it's actually charging. And over here, I don't actually know how to read these digital bolt things, <laughs> but it actually says the temperature of the battery, which is 23.50, the volts is 13.20 and the current is 3.71 I think that might be the current that's coming in 3.71 I'm not sure so it's 30 percent charged and at the rate that's charging at the moment which is probably not in the full full sunlight at the moment we've got 10 hours and three minutes to full charge you can also go I don't know what all this stuff is so let's have a look together oh that's off okay here we go so we've got 120 battery I don't know, 3325, oh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know all that, I have to learn all that. Okay, so there you go, so it's charging, it's working. 
that's good. So when we start the car up, it will charge off the car. So this is just a look at um, what the app looks like on the phone. It's that easy to download. And it tells you everything, what you need to know. Okay, we're all done installing the kick-ass dual battery system. It was really easy to do. Um, so I can do it, anyone can do it. And I just want to say thanks Kickass for a great product and an easy install. The dual battery system on the Kickass. All done, all installed. Had it in for um, three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks now. Three weeks. It's working fine. It's keeping everything nice and cold. The app, I must say the app on the phone is fantastic. So we'll we'll um, flip the camera around. We'll show you the finished. Yeah, so we'll show you the, the dual batteries, the, the King slide and the drawers we put in. Yep, and um, tell you what we like and what we don't like. Yeah. So let's go. So here's the app for the Kickass dual batteries. Okay, it's got a bit of a shadow, but anyhow. Can you see that? <laughs> no? Yeah. Oh, it's pretty crappy, but pretty anyhow, crappy? you oh, get yeah. the idea. Anyway, it's 100%, it's charging okay. So, you guys have been watching, we've um, still got the Dometic fridge, we've still got the problems with the seals leaking around the top, we've got the Titan draw slide, fridge slide, um, not draw slide, fridge slide. Four wheel, four -wheel drive centre. Yeah, which we're not really happy with. It, it works half the time. It slides out good every now and again, every now and again it's hard. We did build it up with the, the wood. Yeah, just to pass that. Yeah, but... but um, just click that down. And unbelievable, it went out perfect that time. It's more pushing it in that the trouble is. Let's see. No. Not this time. So the, the battery's sitting at 14.7 volts and it's on standby at the moment because it's fully charged, it's 100% charged. We've had, what, four or five days of rainy weather and it hasn't dropped down under 87%. So it's, it's been pretty good and as I said today, it's, it's back up to 100% because we've had a, a sunny day, but it does charge with the car as well when it's running. Okay, because the battery is all the way back there, kick ass actually make a mini power box. Power box. Mini that power you can box. Just mount to the side of the car here and you can have all the same functions as the power box as the dual battery up there, but so you can reach it. And also we would like to change the slide to a kick ass slide because they, they just look so much better. And the fridge. And the fridge, yeah. Because it leaks around the top, the seals are always wet. Uh, actually, watch out, watch out. If it's still like that today. Around here. You see how there. it's all wet condensation? All condensation, look at it. Hope you can see it. So, yeah, so we'd like probably a kick ass fridge as well because we did meet someone along the way, our travels, and they had a kick ass fridge and they just couldn't rave more about them. Yeah. So, we'd like to change it all to kick ass because, yeah. One day, but definitely their fridge slides because their fridge slide is so much, look, that's just really flimsy. That's hang just on. really flimsy. Look at that. Do it again. Just really flimsy. Yeah, it does so, a job. It's, it, it does a job. It does work. So the the old saying, you pay for what you get. You do. Is that how you say it? Yep. You pay for what you get. Pay poor for what you get. Twice. Poor man buys twice. Poor man buys twice. I like that saying better. Is, say it again. A poor man buys twice. Oh, okay. You sound like my father. <laughs> That's true. But it's true. Yeah. So but it'll do for now. But all up, we're happy with the system. But we could. The yeah. kick ass is great. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and also. We kept our XTM drawers. They still working perfectly. Had them in the Pajero. Yeah, they're great. The only thing is I've busted the lock somehow. It just fell apart. That's the only problem we've had with the drawers. And there's the system up there. It was such an easy fit. Um, credit to Kickass for designing it. It's all plug and play. Really easy to do. So, that's it. Done. Done and dusted. Yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Remember like, subscribe. All that jazz. Yeah, all that. Thanks.